It's Saturday, two o'clock. It's like 74 degrees out, awesome spring day. People all the time are asking, how do I find all these creeks? How do I find all these places to fish? Yes, there's a lot of creeks in the area I live in, but a lot of it comes from just scouting out areas and putting in effort. So I'm gonna go drive 30 minutes away to this park that I marked during the winter, last winter. I came across that creek and I marked it on my map. So I was like, I'm gonna come back here when I get a chance. Well, today I'm gonna go check it out. And that's how I do it. All right, well, I'm down at the park, just getting everything uh, situated and get my bag filled up. The creek looks really good. It uh, looks like it could be some deep holes. I'm, I'm not sure how big it is, but I'm gonna put on some old tennis shoes in case I wanna walk through it. Got my uh, Serpent um, medium light action rod, 10 pound uh, piece of pin braid. I really like this setup, just real lightweight. I can catch a lot of different lures. Um, really good combination for, you know, whatever I'm gonna get into. So let's go find out what's in this creek. like it already. We got a nice gravel bottom. We got clear water, good water flow, little deep pools. I'm imagining that there's going to be some Coosa bass in there because I know that this creek does run into the Conestoga River. We're just down from the uh, Cahutta Wilderness, so it's down the valley. Comes out of the mountains, looks like, so this could be a fun creek. Oh, got blue kill already. A red bread. Oh, came on. I, saw, I see a bunch of sunfish already. Like they look really active around the edge of the water. I really want to find some bass in here. Oh, there's one. Oh, another red breast. Oh, wow, I think it's colorful. Two red breasts already. It's a good start to this creek. What in the. Uh, Oh, <laughs> I thought I found something really awesome. Touch. Well, first time I found a gun in the creek. What is this? I don't even remember seeing one like this. Oh, it's a battery powered one. <laughs> All right, you never know what you're gonna find. Just no telling where it came from. Fish. What was it a bass? What did we get? Boom! First coosa bass of the day. I thought I was gonna be wearing them out in here, which this creek looks awesome. Water's getting really good. Pretty little guy. First coosa bass. One little swim bait. Crappie? Wow. Not nearly what I expected. A little crappie. Huh. Alright, let's go to this little bitty panther martin that was sent to me. Tiny little lure. Maybe it'll pick off uh, the sunfish and all the stuff keeps hitting at it. There we go. That's what I want. red breast. I want to start getting these fish. I want to just start catching everything I can catch. Got a lot of sunfish. The sunfish are real active in here. There's the first one. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's start getting some fish in. Stop 
worrying about catching bass, just start catching fish. Another son, uh, red breast. Two on the spinner. Oh, yeah. Oh, big old shiner. All right. It's time to catch some fish. Big shiner. There we go. We got another red breast. Man, this place is loaded with wild. This is a really pretty one. Look at that pretty fish. This creek is just gorgeous. I can't believe how nice it is and it's a perfect wading creek. Um, I just looked at the maps and I'm, it looks like I'm halfway in between uh, another road and then going back. So I changed lures and I'm just gonna keep on going try to make it to the make it to the road and then walk the road back oh got something little sunfish that hit it yeah red breast switch to the rebel crawl which it, it can still hook these guys but I'm trying to catch something bigger I know there's bigger fish in here just there just doesn't seem to be out as much There's a little fish. That's what I want. Don't come off. Nice Kusa bass. I gotta get a measurement on him. He may qualify. One of these eight inches. They have been spread out today, but that's a nice, beautiful red eye Kusa bass out of Georgia. There's one. Just after I caught that last one. About the same size. It's a pretty little fish. There's two like in this little bin right here. That's they're real spread out, been spread out today, but these two are kind of close. But it's the creek's starting to get a little deeper as I keep going downstream. Now he's a little bit shorter, he's probably only about six inches or so. Pretty little fish. snake just went slithering down into the water and it looked really brown all right we have hopefully less than an hour to go maybe I don't know maybe an hour to go changed up lures a little swim bait and we are going to try to finish this trip out Lure change and got one. All right, I, I love this lure. I haven't used it on Kusa bass. I've used it on smallmouth, largemouth, rock bass. And yeah, they can get it in their mouth. It's super easy too. Just a really good little lure. It's a little Nico a little Schiller Shad, a little minnow. A uh, little pretty Kusa bass. Well, looks like I got bigger problems than the fish not biting that well. Looks like I looked at my map wrong. I thought I would have been out of here by now, but the way it looks, I may have more than an hour to go. I don't know, or maybe two hours. <laughs> it's uh, 7.30, so it's gonna get dark in about 45 minutes. I do have my flashlight, I do have my bag. I got some uh, just essential stuff in there. You know, it's nothing crazy, but this just creek is in the middle of nowhere in between some roads. So I'm gonna keep on going. I gotta get out of here. So we'll see what happens. All right, well, it's 8.30. I made it out. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I did that. I'll, this is one adventure I'll never do again. Um, went through a bunch of cow fields, didn't know it. But I'm gonna clean my shoes out. I got four miles to walk on the road to get back. Oh my goodness. I'm so glad to be back. 
I am so tired. Good thing I got some snacks in here. I'm starving. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know what I did on my maps. I looked at it wrong. When I thought I was halfway, I was really only like a fourth of the way. And then by the time I realized it, I was all right, over halfway. Finally, that last that last half, I just got out there, cut through a bunch of fields. I was jogging through cow fields, crossing fences. Got to the road just to get out to the road. Then I had to go four and a half miles back, jogged and walked. Took like an hour and a half or more. It's ten. It's a uh, 9:58 right now. I definitely won't do this again. So yeah, be careful, people. Don't don't do what I do. Hopefully, uh, I won't make the same mistake again. Cause man, I feel miserable. Didn't even catch very many fish. I'm like, if the fishing was good, that'd at least been one thing. But uh, all right, well, yeah, this was a video that I made, and not a lot happened. Just a lot of things happened wrong. I'll, I'll definitely come back to this creek and try it. But now I know not where to go, and I'm definitely not going through there again. So, thanks for watching, anyways. I'm gonna get home, get some sleep.